definitely as the RPMs raise up you can hear it even better. I can hear it pretty good right there. I'm not sure if it's picking up on this camera. But, that's it. So like I said guys, I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted. I'm going to tear this thing down, make sure that's what's going on. Um, I have not got the misfire code that a lot of people get with it. And that's, I believe, because it just started happening. So I don't think it's wiped out the cam lobe completely yet to uh, not raise the valve high enough to get that misfire, valve, uh, misfire code. So I think I'm just hearing the the lifter, you know, beating the camshaft right now. But um, I'm sure if I keep driving it, it'll eventually get that lobe worn down enough to get the misfire code going on. What's up, guys? All right. As my last video said, uh, my truck had that ticking noise, and I had a feeling it was the uh, the uh, common lifter cam failure that these Hemi's have. Um, well, I got off work today about 12 o'clock and decided I'm going to tear into this thing and see what's going on. I had a good reason to believe it was coming from the passenger side head, uh, is where it sounded like most of the noise was coming from. Um, so what I did is I pulled the, uh, intake, the valve cover, and I pulled that cylinder, the passenger cylinder head off so I could pull the lifters out and see if I had any bad ones on that side. Uh, go figure. The very first lifter I pulled out in the front of the motor was completely toast. The roller was locked up. Um, the rest of them on that side looked brand new. So just like everybody else's video that had that problem, uh, definitely one bad lifter. Um, I caught it before it probably completely destroyed the lobe on that cam because I was not getting a misfire. I was just getting that tap. Um, so shouldn't have to worry about my engine with metal and stuff in there because it didn't didn't do it very long, just a day or two uh, before I noticed it uh, ticking. So let me show you what's going on here. To start with, I will say, man, this, this truck is pretty easy to work on. Um, there's a lot of room in here. I can practically, I don't have a clutch fan on my, my engine anymore. I just got the electric fan, so there's a lot of room in there. And I was actually able to stand in there and do a lot of work standing inside there, believe it or not. Um, so like you see, I got this cylinder head off. Uh, the intake, the other head is still on, timing cover is still on. I just wanted to get this side apart and get to the lifters, um, just see what was going on. And like I said, it was this lifter that goes in right there was the one, very first one I pulled out was toast. Um, the other ones down the row was perfectly fine. So let me show you these lifters. Um, the... Uh, intake pretty much comes off in one big chunk there and I was able to leave my solenoids and my plumbing and everything for the plate kit on the intake I just had to cut the wires that run to my solenoids so I can wire them back up but didn't really want to mess with having to re redo all that so I was able to pull it off in one big chunk that made it easy cylinder head here um, all the springs everything the head gasket besides I ruined it pulling it off um all that looked good no leaking no manifold leak valves look like they're good see uh, they're, they're in good shape um i'm gonna get the head cleaned up actually both heads cleaned up here is the lifters so let me show you there's one that's a good one that is what it's supposed to look like and it's supposed to roll up there on that bearing. It's supposed to roll very easily. And that one, like I said, is good. The bad one, let's see, which one was it? 
was completely locked up. Yep, there it is. As you can see, all the grinding marks on top there, this roller is completely locked up. I cannot rotate that roller whatsoever. The bearing completely locked up on it. Um, so as you see, it wore a flat spot in the top when it locked up. And the tapping I was hearing, as you see, it finally wore enough down that it started banging the camshaft on the sides here of that lifter. See where those shiny marks are on the sides here? So, it did not eat into my cam very much. I'm pretty sure once I get it out, I'll see, but it doesn't matter. It's toast anyways. So, after talking to Jay Green, um, I'm going to do one of his Jay Green racing cams. He's going to send me a whole set of Hellcat lifters to replace these shitty ones. Um, the Hellcat lifters actually have much bigger bearings in here. Um, they're supposed to be much better than these lifters last a lot longer actually i haven't heard of anybody having lifter problems on the hellcats yet so the fact that they do replace these regular hemi lifters is nice um so j green cam hellcat lifters and a new tune will be going in this bad boy finally got everything uh the last part came in yesterday which was the cam um j just sent me the tunes for the truck so everything's a go now um it's gonna be a long day but gonna be fun hopefully tomorrow i can crank this thing sometime and i'll post a video of it running and so forth but let me show you what we got here all right guys don't mind the mess i kind of got everything scattered out right now um as you know, in the previous videos, I'd already pulled off that cylinder head, so I've kind of been working on it while parts been coming in. I um, already got the Mopar Performance Springs installed on this head. New manifold gaskets. I also, I did have a broken bolt. Um, I think it was the one over here that was actually broke for the manifold. Um, it wasn't leaking, um, but I went ahead and drilled it out tap that uh, bolt out and then put all new bolts and a gasket on it i'm going to do the same thing to the other side anyway just to eliminate that issue uh, but this head's pretty much cleaned up done everything it's ready to be dropped back on i still got to take the other head off um pull the timing cover and pull the cam out but here's all the parts um valve cover gasket here another valve cover gasket set there and then here's the Hellcat lifters that's going to be going in it. There's four sets. Uh, you got to buy basically four boxes, four per each set. Um, you can tell they are a little bit, a little bit beefier. And these are the non-MDS lifters because I, I am doing the MDS delete. And to do that, you need four of these guys. These are the MDS delete plugs. Um, so where the solenoids are, you'll pull those out, put that in place of it, bolt it down, and from what I've read, I guess the connector just kind of hangs there on the harness and you don't have to worry about it. Um, that's a set of bolts for the other exhaust manifold when I take it off. That's the time and cover gasket kit there. I bought everything from Mopar. Um... That's the other exhaust manifold gasket. Here's the Mopar high lift springs. Um, really not a lot of people I've seen that probably even know these are out, um, let alone running them. So Jay said they would be fine. Uh, they're supposed to be good up to 0.625 lift on high lift cams. Um, so this should work perfectly fine in my situation. New valve seals. I already put them in on, on that head. Um, never skimp on that if you got your heads off. Always put them on. You'll regret it later when it starts smoking at a stoplight when you take off. So we're doing that. Head gaskets are in there. I haven't taken them out of the pockets, but they're Mopar head gaskets. And of course, that's the cam, uh, comp cam that I got sent from, see, from Jay Green. 
I'm doing the uh, high lift cam, the high lift racing cam, and he's also giving me the tunes, um, what he calls a lope tune, because this cam is really built for power. This is the best cam for power. It's not going to have like a crazy choppy idle. Uh, you'll know it, you'll hear it, but it's not going to be a crazy lope, you know, choppy idle kind of cam. This cam, he said, is the best cam for power. Um, so in my situation, I could really care less about how cool the truck sounds idling. Um, I'd rather it, you know, be fast. So I'm going with the cam he suggested, and then he's going to give me a lope tune for it. And it will be a little bit, you know, lopey, but nothing crazy, but definitely much more power with this cam. Um, a lot of people are saying that they see around 50 wheel horsepower easily with his cam and a tune. So, should be an upgrade. Open this up. It's still in the wrapper. Anxious to put this thing in. Alright guys, so we did some more work. I got the other head off now. Um, pulled those lifters out. All those lifters on that side was good. Go figure. So only one lifter failed on the whole engine. Um, so here's a little look at what we got going. Radiators over there on the ground. Um, here's the inside of the engine bay. Got the grill off. Pretty much down to now I got to pull the the uh, timing cover off and some of the accessories. And then we can get this camshaft out. But for those that want to know, that's a lot of work. And pretty much what you're looking at, man. It's it's not fun. It's not easy, but it's really not that bad. It's just time consuming. Um, so stay tuned. We'll have the camshaft out here soon. All right, guys. So I got the driver's side head off, and I wanted to show you guys a little something. Just like the passenger side, had a broken bolt right here for the exhaust manifold which is this bolt here you can see is broken off a lot of people say that's a common problem with them, with these also um, however I didn't really have any leaks as you can see the gasket focus in there the gasket was still sealing so it hadn't been pushing past the seal right here yet um, but we're gonna take care of that I already drilled the, uh, the bolt out and put the extractor in there and it's believe it or not <laughs> not very hard to get it out um, apparently these things don't really sit in there and rust or anything with the aluminum heads so it comes right out just like the other one did pretty much the hardest part of it's just drilling out the hole drilling the hole out in the center of the bolt but other than that as you can see comes right out so another thing to look for on these hemis um, and both of the bolts has been the one that's in the very front of the head so if you're standing in front of the vehicle it appears it's that very first manifold bolt that breaks right there all the other ones with I didn't have any that was loose or broken just those ones was broke we're going to continue on um i'm gonna start doing the springs on this head and then this head will be done and we'll be pulling the cam out tomorrow and putting in the new one all right we're officially to the halfway point got the old cam out and it's a little worse than i thought i don't know if you can see that or zoom in on there that lobe is completely wiped out the rest of them look pretty good as you know only had that one lifter that looked bad but it has really chewed that lobe up something serious um, I wasn't getting the misfire code yet but I'm sure it was right around the corner not good but we're about to put the new J green cam in Here's where we're at so far. Pretty much down to a block now. Um, 
I ended up doing the trick with the timing chain that I've seen in another video. Um, so you don't have to mess with this oil pump just to see your lower timing marks. Uh, basically, you set the piston, the top, the number one piston, the top dead center. Um, mark your chain at the center, at the top up here. Mark it on the tensioner and the chain, and then a mark over here and on the chain. So you got three reference points. And as long as you keep tension on this chain, so that it stays on the lower sprocket, it will stay in time. So when you put the cam phaser back on, all you got to do is line up your marks up top and you're good to go and you don't have to screw with any of that oil pump crap but halfway home it's all downhill from here all right so i'm working on doing the mds delete right now which is eliminating the four solenoids that one that one i've already put the delete kit in that one and you see i have this one out that's what it is it's basically just a plug with a couple o-rings and it just drops in there like so you can push push on there a little bit and once you get to that point you actually just take a quarter inch drive socket put the square part down on top of it and just pound it in with a hammer and you got to make sure that it seats all the way down don't just put the bolt in there and try to run, uh, run it down that way because you'll end up actually tearing up your o-ring um, you need to beat it down pretty evenly and it'll go in place just like it's supposed to and then these these uh the wiring harness plugs that used to plug on to the old solenoids you just let them hang in there uh, they don't do anything anymore once you delete it and then here's uh what the plugs the old ones look like that's the, the old solenoids so far the first two i've done the top of them has actually busted off when trying to pull them off as you can see here's the top of one just like that and what's happening is it's actually breaking off of the plastic because they've been in there so long um, but if you run into that problem those little nubs little pieces of plastic sticking up right here you see there's three of them um, what I've been able to do is if I just spray some WD-40 on top of this thing and I'll spin it back and forth like this with some pliers and rotate it and get it free and then by putting the pliers on these little nubs here and just kind of grab the pliers and push up and down on it and just work it up and eventually it pops out so luckily I've been able to get them out still but just something else you might run into uh, doing this job it is very time consuming but we are making some progress all right guys stay tuned all right guys so we got some more progress going here got both the heads on torque down time and cover back on cams in just gotta put the harmonic balancer pulley on i gotta put the push rods in torque down these rocker shafts intake put the radiator back in fan and hook all the wiring back up and we're almost there um, but as you see if you take everything out the radiator and stuff you can stand inside here and work on this engine pretty easily so it's not too bad just very time consuming definitely hear that J green cam in there Stay safe out there, have fun, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.